I'm going to... Okay, I'm recording. Okay, I'm going to react to this woman living as a full-time baby. <laughs> Previously recording this and it didn't record the full video. So, here we go. The woman, the woman who admits to spending a whopping £230 a month on nappies to maintain her lifestyle as a baby. Content creator Paige Miller from the East Coast USA begins every day by waking up in her crib. After her morning diaper change, she then spends her time playing with toys and creating online content. She hopes that she can help others feel less shame whilst also funding the costly expenses that come as an adult. I just wanted to say, it is very costly. That's one when y'all ask me about stuff, I'm like, no, um, I can't really afford, like, all these costumes and stuff because it is very costly. Have a baby. 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 adopted the lifestyle in 2018 and explained back in 2020 that her goal has always been to normalize the lifestyle. She said, I've always collected toys and had a younger sense of humor, so all of my friends and family I've always collected toys and had a younger sense of humor, so all of my friends and family have been very accepting. And we all ask me uh, about being a little, little, this is how I feel. I'm almost 39 going on 40, and I feel like I still have the mindset of a younger person. I don't feel like I'm almost 40. I still feel like I have a younger sense of humor and a younger mindset. And I guess that's why I feel like I don't want to judge anyone who's being an adult little because I I don't feel myself that I'm as old as I am. I feel like I'm in the mindset of a younger person. And so I guess that's how when y'all brought it up to me about being an adult little, I guess that's why I didn't feel judgmental. Because I kind of identify with the feeling of feeling younger. Okay, I'm going to continue the video. I've been very, I've been very accepting. accepting. Adding, adding, I'm engaged, engaged to someone who I've been with for five years. He doesn't have this lifestyle, but he supports it. Okay, I'm going to rewatch the video, just play it back later. <laughs> Meet the woman who admits to spending a whopping £230 a month on nappies to maintain her lifestyle as a baby. Content creator Paige Miller from the East Coast USA begins every day by waking up in her crib. After her morning diaper change, she then spends her time playing with toys and creating online content. She hopes that she can help others feel less shame whilst also funding the costly expenses that come as an adult baby. Pidgey adopted the lifestyle in 2018 and explained back in 2020 that her goal has always been to normalize the lifestyle. She said, I've always collected toys and had a younger sense of humor, so all of my friends and family have been very accepting. Adding, I'm engaged to someone who I've been with for five years. He doesn't have this lifestyle, but he supports it. Okay, for today's video, I want to watch this video with y'all and just react to it and read some of the comments. This woman is an adult baby, as most of you who watch this channel are, and just want to react to this video and read some of the comments and give my opinion. The woman who admits to spending a two hundred and thirty pounds a month, on nappies to maintain her lifestyle, content creator Peggy Miller. 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 Again, 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 again,
How tragic. Sadly, there's no turning back to where this generation is going. I'm so cr grateful to have been born in a normal world. Okay, I agree that there is no turning back. This generation is kind of crazy, but I feel like this is not a behavior that's really hurting anyone. It, you're just you're just acting like a child. You're acting like an adult little. You're literally wearing diapers, sucking a pacifier, um, playing with toys. It's not, I don't feel it's a hurtful behavior or behavior that hurts anyone else. Um, I don't know if the ones who do it drink or smoke, what you do in your personal life, but just acting as a baby and wearing diapers. Now, I guess it does go further if you're looking at it in a sexual way, if you find like sexual pleasure from changing um, another adult little diaper or something, but just the act of wearing diapers and playing with toys and drinking from a sippy cup or a bottle, I don't see this as dangerous behavior. Um, yeah, some may not normalize it, but I don't see where it's hurting anyone. Now let's go. Well said. I think she needs help. That's for sure. Unfortunately, this has always happened. It's just more open now. Men have been dressing as babies forever. Just now you get to see it. And like I've said before, I didn't really know of anyone doing this until I saw it on that show, My Strange Addictions, where that man was dressed as an adult baby. That may be the case, but at least they had the decency to do it for their own pleasure behind closed doors. And that's fine. I feel that people nowadays are so shameless, blankly seeking attention. They find it acceptable to flaunt all their disgusting habits in public, have a bit of respect for others. She said she's doing it to show that there are others out there that you don't have to be ashamed of the behavior, which that's understandable. I guess they were thinking that I'm seeking attention too by my channel showing stuff like this. They would have, if they could at least, you don't have to see it, you can just stroll on by. If any of y'all who commented on this happen to be watching my channel, I'm sorry if you didn't want your name shown. Um, it's too much trouble to block out the names. But this is on a public post. So it's not like I'm sharing private comments. But you stopped. You didn't have to. Obviously, you read it. Wait, no, that's... Where was it? They would have if they could. At least you don't have to see it. You can stroll on by, which is true. Like with my channel. You don't have to stop and watch my channel if it's not your cup of tea. No, that's just a cop-out excuse. How can you scroll down when something like this hits you in the face as you go through your feed? Which it did hit mine. I wasn't searching for this content. It just, just pop up randomly on my news feed. It asked me if I wanted to see more or less. I put more because this is relevant to what I've been sharing on my channel. No, I don't read the story, but anyone can see the headline and that tells you everything. But you stopped. You didn't have to. Obviously, you read it. Wrong. I scanned through. You meant men have been acting like babies, not dressing like them right. There were a couple of comedies like Milton Burrow and a couple of things. Who are these men you speak of making it sound like all men who rattled your crib? Hello, well. Um, someone passed away 25 years ago. Wonder I was rattled. The headline on the news media rarely, or rarely what the article is about. I'm 21 and I find what she's going on to be preposterous. Pro How can people live like that? She doesn't understand. Only this generation go back 20 years and watch Jerry Springer Rare. Go back hundreds of years. People have always had strange habits, fetishes. True. Yeah, it's weird, but each to their own. She's not harming anyone, which is what I say. Um, yeah, somebody find it weird, but it's, it's not harming anyone. 
Who's to say what's normal? Everyone's definition of normal is different. That's true. That's what me and my husband always say. To an extent, that's not... There really is no such thing as normal, but we can all agree on what a healthy adult human would look like, and this is not it. It may not be, but most of the adult babies that I have talked to, unless they're on disability checks, they do get up, and they do go to a job each day, and they do drive cars, go to a job, live adult lives, and then when they get home, this is just something they do in their downtime. Um, there are some on the internet that say they're baby 24-7, but when interviewed, they do have to go to a job to make money, and unless they don't drive, they usually drive a car to get to this job, so they're performing daily adult activities, and this is just in their downtime. Which you guys should know because most of you watching are adult littles. Crapping in a nappy isn't normal. I very much agree with you. The normal nowadays is to just not be normal. Everyone is different if we all were the same as boring. That's true. It is harmful to sexualize kids in any form of disgust, and this isn't regression for trauma. It's disgusting. Now, regression. There is, some people, I guess, do regress. Maybe they are doing this because of trauma. Um, like, to heal your childhood, therapists now say that you should seek your inner child. And, well, when you're out seeking your inner child, maybe putting on a diaper, sucking from a bottle, um, going back to when you're a baby, or maybe playing with toys as a toddler can help your inner childhood. Um, so, she hasn't sexualized it, though. I'm assuming we're watching the same video. Yeah. Um. I don't really see where she's sexualizing anything either. Oh, and someone commented tonight about where's my wedding ring if I'm married. Um, my finger was itching and I took it off in the car and I didn't want to lose it. So I put it like in the glove department and I just totally forgot to put it back on. Even when I was in the car, I forgot to look for it and put it back on. Even after someone commented on that. Mm, I know there's some watching this channel that'll be like, Oh my goodness, she doesn't have a ring on. She never sexualized. Also, it's a form of age regression and trauma and mental health. Do some research on littles and little spaces. It's relaxing to those who have never had a childhood and brings a lot of mental health healing to those who dealt with abuse or just a rough childhood. Yeah, it's like part of this seeking out your inner childhood. You... Do these activities to heal your inner child. Because to be an successful adult, um, if you had trauma, you need to heal your inner child. So, I'm read um some more, I guess. I don't know how far I'm going to read. She never sexualized it. This is her newest ex post. Literally naked rubbing herself in a diaper while she's peeing. Get out of here. Uh, I pee, you pee, we should all pee in our diapies. Okay, it appears that she doesn't have a top on. Okay, I'll leave y'all to be a judge of that. Whether you think she's sexualizing it or not. No, she's disgusting and only doing this stuff for dollars. Now let me tell you, if she's in on YouTube doing this, you didn't really get paid that much on YouTube. Um, we get paid by how many people. It actually takes people clicking on the ads for us to get paid. Along with, if you have, you have to have at least a thousand subscribers. And then you need people clicking on the ads, liking the videos. See, like with my channel, when y'all don't. Y'all don't like the videos or comment. 
or there's nothing going on on my channel um or if y'all aren't clicking on the ads then i don't get paid sometimes i go on here myself if i haven't been paid and i'll just watch my own videos and and click the ads because clicking on the ads helps get paid um i don't know how exactly it works but just clicking on the ads we get commission or something um that's how i get paid Unless you have, I don't know, people clicking, liking, commenting, and stuff. You're, well, this post does have a lot of comments. But, other than that, you're, I don't know. You're not going to get paid that much. Keyword, newest post. In the post above, I commented on she never sexualized it, but even more so weird that you legitimately went looking for it because you were curious. Yeah. True. Bingo. Everyone's sexual to the old people. This is lifestyle age regression for trauma. There is an age player kink BDSM. Um, that term sounds familiar. But it's two consenting adults doing a role play only. They function like a normal adult after the role play. That's what I was saying earlier. Yeah, like these people that, like littles. I like if I spend time in being little, I have to get up and I have to to cook and clean and take care of my child. I have to go back to living an adult life. It's just like, yeah, it's just like a role play thing because you have to get back up and live your adult life. Like there's cooking, there's cleaning, there's washing clothes. Even though I don't have a full time job, there's my house is messy. I have dishes to wash. I have clothes to wash. I have a child to take care of. Um, it's just always something. No, it's not normal. Nice try though. <clears throat> the girl does it all the time, which isn't a kink for her. It's trauma relief and regression. So two different things, but y'all don't know if she's doing this for fun or if she does have trauma people are just jumping to conclusions she surely clearly has been harming herself look at the scars upon her arms i'm not gonna go into looking for this um this being on the internet and influencing others actually is harming surely they can live how they want mentally unstable as they want in their privacy but it should stay private um of course she's harming me to young kids and i'm not sure if it's that people too all i see is perverted women identifying as baby wearing nappies okay so if i identify if i put this on my channel i'm now a perverted woman nappies playing with toys while leading an adult sexual life with a man that is absolutely the most socially unacceptable behavior i've never I've ever come across on social media as a mean of making money. I feel offended in a way because, well, I didn't start out as an adult little channel. I started out as a mom sharing diapers, but then I found this community and I've been paid off YouTube. So. How do you even start to protect your kids against this developing world? How can we come down to the level of normalizing this type of behavior now? Using portraying kids as sexual objects. Um. God, I, I don't use it in a sexual way. I think you are all perverted and need locks, locking up if you think this type of behavior is harmless. I think it's harmless if you're just... If you're just literally sitting there in a diaper and playing with toys and not making it. If it's nothing sexual, if you're just sitting there in a diaper playing with toys, then I feel like there's there's nothing harmful. Now, if you do it's do anything sexual, like that's that's your private life. I don't think it necessarily means that you want to 
I don't think it would necessarily mean that you're attracted to an actual baby. No. And don't tell me if I don't like it, I can scroll down or I'm old and I got to accept whatever people do in public to get their kicks or this has been going on for years. No one no, this is going beyond what is acceptable and nobody has the right to tell others how to feel about something as disgusted as this made for public viewing. Should be private. Think about a whale in captivity when the dream of the sea, but only the people's entertainment of how they want for them train. When a well is free in the sea, if they can live the way they want to harmlessly happily, now relate that to human beings and put that into perspective. Yes, no one can divine what truly is, what normal is truly. I agree. But point is, what she's describing consumes her day-to-day -day activities of being able to be an adult and function in society. Someone can love you very much for just being you. Because she said she has a boyfriend, but that doesn't mean that both of them aren't mentally ill or the boyfriend doesn't know how to help her. So he just enables mental illness. Runs deep in my family, as in most families, and we need to normalize proper treatment, not normalize things like this. Now I agree with it. normalizing treatment. Plus, for mental behaviors. Plus, my personal opinion is she's doing this for money and attention too, but untreated childhood trauma could be underlying problem, and good therapists are hard to find. She is hurting, actually, she is hurting herself of being able to live in a productive adult life without being consumed by the need to act like a baby. She may be able to make money off this online, but even that pay money to see this are sick. I agree. Yeah, they are totally normal. Nobody can notice how weird that is. Wow, you have a functional brain. I'm astonished. I'm surely all the pedophiles would strongly agree with you. Fan said about having sex with children isn't normal to you. And she does. You can Google her. She has lots of platforms she runs, which she is clearly sexualizing and pro financially profiting off what's basically encouraging and normalizing. She needs a pad to dream and a psychiatric help. Not people defending her. Um, just gonna scroll down. Your generation would have just as many weird fetishes such as this. The only difference is we now have the media to adverse the kind of thing more. So you are definitely were not born into this normal world you were put into. Frankly, there's no such thing. It's not a generation thing. People have been doing this for years. It wasn't normal. Everyone just depressed and closeted. Mental health problems. So she's a little surprised this lifestyle out there for a long time. She's a performer. She needs professional help. I'm a little old. It's a little odd. But you do you. I agree. You, you do you. If it's not harming others then you do you totally insane isn't the word some people need their head examined makes me wonder what kind of world we are living in and what my kids are seeing and hearing around them okay y'all see all these negative comments this is why when y'all ask me like if <clears throat> i make a video like sucking on a pacifier or something and, and I share it over at TikTok and y'all ask why didn't y'all see it on TikTok that's because I have a private over there because all my family have found me over on TikTok my mom was on TikTok I don't think she really gets on it no more but my dad's on there and he sees my videos sometimes and I have cousins and aunts and uncles and and friends and everybody who see my videos on there and they are the type of people who would probably comment stuff like this and they would think that it's weird behavior and probably think that I need mental help and it's just, um, I would, I'm, I'm just afraid of, I guess, getting comments like this. Never on my YouTube, it's like YouTube has put me out to where y'all find my videos. And I do have some friends that are subscribed to my channel, but they're the ones who don't really judge me on on this um even if they think it's weird they're not really being judgmental 
and my family, they, I have mentioned that I made money off YouTube, and I think they have tried to find my channel, but they haven't really, I guess, watched my videos, which I'm glad, because I just feel like I would get so much judgment, like, especially the ones where I've tried on diapers, I feel like I would get this right here, all these comments, <laughs> this is what I'm afraid of when I'm making comments content because it's right here they're talking about mental health well reading comments like this when you're just trying to be you like the one comment said you be you well you're just trying to be you and then you're filled with comments like this and that can affect your mental health if you are doing this to try to heal your inner childhood or heal healing your your mental health and you read all this is not very helpful. I'm gonna scroll. This is one step too far. New career for you. You could teach me all you know. <clears throat> Sorry, but one, she needs her head checked and two, the dude she's engaged to needs to fully to, needs to fully be investigated. She has the fascination of being a toddler, and her fiancé basically has the fascination of being in a relationship with someone who behaves like a toddler. Definitely not safe to have either of them living on the street, especially the dude. I don't know. I see where that could be taken like that, but... I don't know. I mean, probably when she's done acting like a toddler, I mean, they probably have a normal adult relationship. I was thinking the same. People should be allowed to be what they want to be, but there has to be a limit. This is beyond the limit. Why is it beyond the limit? Because it makes you feel uncomfortable? If you ask to ask, then your mindset just can't make sense of what is wrong. Because it is, if you don't think so, you need to be checked out. He is probably needs to be investigated. It's a major red flag if he thinks this is considered normal and nothing is wrong with the situation. You want it locking up. Um, pedal alert. So you can drink by yourself in the comfort of your home and smoke some weed and you... Ooh, crap. I should probably not say that on YouTube. And you should be in. That's basically what you're saying. But, Luca, there is no line between what you do and privacy mind your business. So, if your schizophrenic people don't affect anyone's lives, they should be let as they are and feed into their delusions. Now, I don't believe in feeding into any people's delusions. <clears throat> if it's mental health, then yes, she doesn't. Think she's a baby, you idiot. You take it too literal. It's simple regression and it makes her feel safe and comfortable. It's not unhealthy to do. Has a big community and your argument is comparing a to just someone who likes wearing diapers and dressing up in their free time. Here's a tip. Mind your own business. Millions of people. Yeah, true. I mean, if she's just wearing diapers and playing with toys, that's not harming anyone. Now, as far as the man... Looking at her as a toddler, I mean, is that their private life? We don't know if they're being sexual with her dressed as a toddler, so we can't miss the, we can't say that has a pedo. Oh, these words are probably gonna get me like demonetized. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna read a few more. These comments beg to differ. Age regression is one thing. Don't really understand or agree with it, but not my business. When people fed a shit and are affected to someone acting as a toddler and it turns them on, when someone urinates and dissipates in a diaper, it's disturbing and perverted. To me, it gets them one step closer to the targets they really want children. Who's to say playing with someone like this wouldn't trigger someone to go after the real thing? Ugh, so gross. And people who try to justify it are just as gross. There's a good reason why men aren't kindergarten teachers and daycare workers. Men are 
predators. <clears throat> Investigated for what? For doing some ABDL stuff? That you really, that dump, or I didn't get that. Just watch your business. They're not doing anything illegal. Some people might be different, but that doesn't make them wrong. They're doing what they like. I'm pretty sure you have your own stuff, which makes you aroused too. Now, where is the difference? Just judging from a video is easy, isn't it? I would not share this kind of information on the internet, but that's not right by me. But otherwise, nothing wrong here. Normal stuff is what I find arousing. Not a woman dressed and acting like a baby. If you see nothing wrong here, then you... You're essentially saying if your daughter behaved like a baby and was in a having a sexual relationship, you'd be fine with the dude she was having sexual relations with. That's messed up. If a dude feels aroused by a woman dressing out like a baby, then yes, there's something that about that. You and anyone thinks this is okay. Can't get a ring. Maybe I should become a baby. Nothing normal about that either. You stay a baby or grow up and get married. There's married people that do this. The world is gone bonkers. It is, but nobody understands this about her. She's just living in a state of mind to deal or to refuse to deal with her own problem. Can you have my kids for a couple of years while I regress and rest? No, let's not normalize this. Let's shame. Let's not shame it either. But just because we should shame something out of the ordinary doesn't mean that we should normalize health issues and not addressing them. Sad. Um, another one saying. C U T T E R. Completely crazy. Needs a padded room. Is there a doctor in the house? I think it's completely wrong. Completely crazy that you're judging someone who's not hurting anyone. Personally, I don't have that lifestyle, but I'm not going to judge someone's life choices if they don't hurt me. That's what I think. If it's not harming anyone then who are you to judge on this channel we try to be judge for, judgmentally furry i told therapists say there's nothing wrong with this and this person is happy for how she lives her life we live in much more yeah doctors actually suggest like finding your inner child Did she change her own nappy? No, her weird partner probably does. I think some people change their own nappies. Her daddy will change her. They will keep their S-E-X-U-A-L relationship separate from the fetish. I watched a documentary on it. I think she needs to see a psychiatrist before it's too late. This is not normal for a grown woman, but a good way to get noticed. Silly women, I hope the men in a white coat see this. So, there's a lot of judgment. A lot of people saying that she needs help. Who will change her poopy nappy? Uh, there's a lot of negativity that surrounds this and that is why sometimes I'm not open with sharing things that y'all ask. Sad for her bliss. Sit, think it's time to grow up. When you're ready, she's fast ready. It's weird on a few levels. Grow up. Crawl among us. Just 
just ignore the world one day. The world's gone mad. I don't think someone should be locked up. I mean, what would you be locked up for? It's not a crime. I mean, and I guess I mean locked up in a mental hospital. How can a baby do online content and be engaged to an adult man? So she's not totally living like a baby. Is she changing her own nappy? Okay, yes. Like I was said before, I most have to live, I guess, unless you're on a disability check where you're able to stay home, then most do have jobs to go to and they have to engage in normal adult activity. Y'all comment. Uh, um, those of you watching who are adult babies, are you adult 24-7 or do you have to adult and go to work and pay bills and things? Um, uh, maybe and if you're on a disability, you still have bills and stuff to pay. So either way, I think you, you're still going to have to adult at some point. There's adults that do have to be changed and looked after because of a disability. Yes, that's true. And you get someone like this that wants to do it. I think it's disgusting or I don't know with it. Wait up, love, and look around you at poor people who don't have a choice when you do. Debbie, hi for Deb, Deb, Debbie. Beloved, beloved Debbie. Please get a dictionary. You are out here making us look bad with your spelling. There is a difference when you have a choice and I don't have a choice. Do you really think these adults that have to be changed and looked after due to their disability enjoy it? No, they do not have a choice as you do said it yourself. They act like that due to a disability she is fully capable of making the decision to act like a baby they don't have a choice please think about it that way okay yeah i have come across a few, couple of people who watch my channel they actually have disabilities and i know there's one that i watched several times um who said that he started wearing diapers because of an actual disability and doesn't like it but I guess come across the adult baby content and decided to try being an adult baby. So I guess um, trying to make adult wearing uh, uh, speak wearing a diaper is fun. Having to wear adult diapers fun. Um, I guess that's how some with disabilities come into being an adult baby because they really have a disability and they have to wear diapers and they found this and they thought, well, maybe they can be part of this community and normalize wearing adult diapers and find like fun prints and not have to wear these boring looking diapers. They can find these fun prints and maybe find someone, I guess, who wants to change their diaper and help them out and stuff. This is a woman who reflected on how she wants to live her life instead of a goal and went for it despite what it could cost her socially. That successful woman and brave one. She even found a loving person who accepts. She enjoys herself. There's nothing in this story that is pointing towards mental issue. Mental illness is not when you are weird to others. My field of education is what the person herself is facing psychological obstacles to the way she wants to function in specific or all areas of life and it's causing her self-suffering that certainly could cause if we knew more about her but that also true about anyone we see there is no indications until here so go reflect yourselves instead of on what this woman provokes in you and why and you might gain from it stop hating on differences okay i'm just gonna leave it at this I'm going to leave it here at this comment. Stop hating on differences. I'm going to hop off here. This is the nearly bedtime. I'm going to get some rest. We have some family we're going to spend time with tomorrow from Kentucky. We've seen them tonight, but we're going to go spend more time with them tomorrow.